good day. This is the day that the, the Lord, Lord has, has made, and we will rejoice, and be, rejoice and, and be glad in it. Every day is the day of the Lord. It was so yes. awesome spending time in His presence, so early morning. And uh, this afternoon, we decided to come outside and sit in the mm -hmm. sun. Beautiful day that the Lord has made. And we Amen. are so thankful. And His anointing, uh, firepower is with us, the Holy Spirit. And we're going to talk about the Holy Spirit in our life and in your life. And also how we are sealed off in the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. It's so important to talk about and to tell uh, to tell that the Holy the Holy Spirit wants our obedience and our faithfulness. Yes. He wants us to surrender all to Him. Amen. Because uh, it's no more us that liveth, but Christ liveth inside us. Amen. And it's important to know to have daily the, the Holy Spirit desire daily fellowship and intimacy with us daily. Thank you, Jesus. And also uh, he is the one that oh, he want us to commune with him and yes. asking questions and all that. This is what I've done all my life up, you know, asking questions. What now? What next? And all that. And uh, it's wonderful to be spiritful, Holy Spiritful, and Holy Spirit led. Hallelujah. And also very important that we're gonna stress out as well that we're gonna uh, share with you as well is uh, the power of prayer. The Holy Spirit is a part. Is a spirit of that that lead us in prayer and how to pray for one another and pray for all nations. Our ministry is called Touch All Nations and we are both the founders of it and we are so glad that the Holy Spirit has, has prompted us to, uh, to uh, pray for all nations. We, uh, the program that we normally do is World Mission Awareness Prayer where we pray for them daily, for the nations, for our nations in South Thank Africa you, and for all nations. So it's very, very important to pray for one another and to uh, and to uh, be spiritful and Holy Spirit led. Amen. Amen. So I'm going to ask my husband just to read for us the Word of God. We've been already prayed up. Hallelujah. And we're going to share with you how, about Daniel, how Daniel was uh, uh, Holy Spirit filled and Holy Spirit led. Daniel chapter 9, verse 24. 70 sevens are decreed for your people and your holy city to finish transgression, to put an end to sin, to attain for wickedness, to bring in everlasting righteousness, to seal up vision and prophecy and to anoint the most holy place. You see, Daniel was given this, this dream and this vision by God. It's about the 70 70 sevens. Now we know according to the Bible, sevens talk about weeks and weeks talk about years. Every year is a every every week is a every week is seven days is seven years and here he talks about seventy sevens. So according to Bible scholars and what has been what has been calculated this speaks about the end of days when when christ will come for um, for for his bride and for his people because we realize that that the israelites the jewish people has gone astray and yes. it says here it's see, to seal up vision and prophecy you know and so later on in revelation we will we will read about the seals that, that opens, mm. which tells us that what Daniel saw here was for the end of days. And it's so, it's so uh, uh, um, significant that you know that people do not believe what, uh, uh, what is written in the Bible. Mm. But when we see that uh, this prophecy was written 400 years before the birth of Christ, in even up to now we can see that these prophecies are being fulfilled because when we read here in daniel chapter chapter 12 it says at that time michael the great prince who protects your people will arise there will be a time of distress such as has not happened yes. from the beginning of nations until then but at that time your people everyone was named is found written in the book will be delivered multitudes who sleep in the dust of the earth 
will awake some to everlasting life, others to shame and everlasting contempt. Those who are wise will shine like the brightness of the heavens, and those who lead many to righteousness like the stars for ever and ever. But you, Daniel, roll up and seal the words of the scroll until the time of the end. Many will go here and there to increase knowledge. You see, even this confirms because he says your, the names is written in the book. Now we know according to the word of God in the New Testament and, uh, and in the book of Revelations, uh, talking about the book of life, if your name is written in the book of life, then you will go to everlasting life. But if your name is not found there, as the word of God says, to everlasting, to everlasting contempt. So this contempt is talking about the everlasting death in the in the hour. You will be alive, but it's like being dead because you you you're not enjoying life. And it says here that also that uh, um, that uh, they will be they will be delivered, and you seal up the words of the scroll unto the end of time. And we see in Revelation, the word of God says it's only Christ that can open that scroll. So up to the time of Christ, up to now, when I mean, Christ has been born, he's risen, uh, he's risen, he's John saw in Revelation how he opens the seals one by one. Mm. And we see that uh, Daniel is talking about a time that will be like no other time where there will be pains and birth pains and there will be the stress. And we're living in that start of that period now of birth pains and of the stress as we see the wars that is raging, as we see the famines, as we see in our own nation the mudslides, the, the, the death and destruction that's happening. And these, has, these things has all been predicted by Daniel more than 1,000, sorry, more than 2,500 years ago. This has been, been predicted. Mm. The Word of God is so up to date. It's, it's incredible. It's something that we can, not something, the Word of God, we can put our trust in the Word of God. Yeah. Because this is faithful, it's true. What it has promised, it will come to pass. And we thank God for this opportunity that we can share this Word to, 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 to give the people a wake-up call that's listening and that is watching mm. these uh, broadcasts that we sent out. Because it's truly, at, at the, we are truly living in the end of end days, of according to what uh, uh, Daniel has written about. Right. Amen. Yes, that is so blow-up. We, we, as I said, we want to bring out concerning the seven seals. And if you can turn with us, if you do have a Bible, turn with us to Revelation 5, 1. Revelation chapter 5. Then I saw in the right hand of him who sat on the throne a scroll was written on both sides and sealed with seven seals. And uh, Revelation chapter 7 from verse 3 to 8, it says, Do not harm the land or the sea or the trees until we put a seal on the foreheads of the servants of our God. Mm. Then I heard the number of those who were sealed 144,000 from all the tribes of Israel, from the tribe of Judah 12,000, from the tribe of Reuben 12,000, from the tribe of Gad 12,000, from the tribe of Asher 12,000, from the tribe of Naphtali 12,000, from the tribe of Manasseh 12,000, from the tribe of Simeon 12,000, from the tribe of Levi 12,000, from the tribe of Issachar 12,000, from the tribe of Jebelin 12,000, from the tribe of Joseph 12,000, and from the tribe of Benjamin 12,000. And we thank God, we see, if we read, uh, we go back to uh, Revelation chapter 5 verse 1, it speaks about the same thing that Dan, which we just uh, uh, read about now. Daniel said about the scroll that was mm. sealed up yeah, with seals. Mm. And in Revelation 7, it tells us what part of those seals are. We know that we are sealed by the Holy Spirit. Mm. We are guaranteed. The Word of God teaches us that the Holy Spirit is given as a deposit 
into our lives and we are sealed by the by the um, Holy Spirit which means when when Christ returns he's going to he's, he's going to uh, uh, redeem that deposit that mm. is given in our life the Holy Spirit but when he does it he's going to raise us up because Daniel spoke that some will sleep in the dust and will be quickened unto everlasting life and, uh, and unto everlasting shame and we know that quickening is going to happen at a it is what we call the rapture mm. when we will be changed in the twinkling of our eyes the yes. bible says those who have died in christ will rise first and we that is alive will be changed and meet them in the air and but these 144,000 are special people mm. from the tribes of israel with which God has chosen out, not man. Mm -hmm. Man had no uh, role to play in here. Mm -hmm. He has decided to seal this 144,000, and we do not know. The speculation is that in in the in the time of tribulation, this 144,000 will be Jews that will go out to evangelize the world. Because when we even see on on on, the, on when we watch YouTube, we even hear there that. Uh, 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 men of God are predicting a great harvest. Mm -hmm. Now you know a, a great harvest can only be co uh, only come with the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. But you know when we are we are not here anymore. When we are in heaven raptured, there, is, there will be no Holy Spirit on earth mm -hmm. to convict people. But this hundred and forty-four thousand that, uh, uh, that that the Word of God speak about that has been sealed. You can only be sealed by the Holy Spirit, which means yes. they will be almost like super evangelists. They will go out because the Word of God teaches us that Christ will, uh, will reign a thousand years on the earth. And even after that, mm. after the thousand years, uh, the devil will be loosened for the short time trying to deceive people still. Yes. But we believe this 144,000 will go out into all the world to bring people to Christ at that time, reasoning with them, bringing to them, showing them that Christ is the true and the real Messiah that was promised. But those will be amongst the Jewish nation because the Gentiles, the Word of God teaches us, the time of the Gentiles will close and we will have had our chance. But the yes. Jews will have a second chance because uh, even Paul writes, at that time, all Israel will be saved. So it will be people that will come into the kingdom at that time, even during the great tribulation, where Christ will, uh, Christ's grace will still be upon the earth for people to come to know Him, but at a great cost. The Word of God says they will pay with their lives mm. because if they are not prepared to take the, the mark of the beast, the triple six, and they will have, they will be beheaded, they will be thrown to they will be thrown in jail. They will be. They will. Their heads will be cut off, and they will be killed because of the word of God. Yes, that is so true. Amen. Um, we have come to almost to a close, but I just want to encourage those that are listening now concerning Amen. the Holy Spirit. Yes. You know, the Holy Spirit has sealed us off already. Uh, yes. It's uh, if you can turn there so long while I'm talking, it's, mm -hmm. you will find that also in Luke. Uh, you know that Luke is talking about the increase, you know, of of the Holy Spirit, you know, of faith in our life, and it's important to have faith uh, uh, in these days that we have faith in God, in no one else but the Spirit. And uh, uh, it says here, let me just put on this. Romans 4, just go to Romans 4, 11, and Romans 2, 1, 22. This is also taken here. Romans 4, 11, and uh, Ephesians as well, 1, 13. Ephesians? 1, 13. Okay. I'll, I'll read that. It 
it's important to be in the presence of God. It's okay. very uh, important. Romans 4 verse 11. Yeah. And he received circumcision as a sign, a seal of the righteousness that he had by faith yes. while he was still uncircumcised. So then he is a father of all who believe but they have not been circumcised in order that the righteousness might be credited to them. Ephesians 1 verse 13 And you also were included in Christ when you heard the message of truth, the gospel of your salvation. When you believed, you were marked in Him with a seal, the promised Holy Spirit. You see, uh, once again, even Paul writes about being sealed in Christ mm -hmm. by the Holy Spirit. Yes. And that's the same seal that, that Revelation is speaking about. But as I said, we who are sealed now of the Gentiles, we will not go through the great tribulation. Mm -hmm. the, 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 the Israelites that were sealed, they will be going through that period of the great tribulation because they haven't believed in the Messiah as we believe. But the seal that God has placed on our lives is the Holy Spirit that seals us, that will protect us, that will rapture us mm. when just before the great tribulation uh, um, starts. Because we must understand God will not seal us and then leave us here to go through all that. The, the seal is a guarantee that God will come and take us, God will come and fetch us, because it's His seal, it's His sign, it's His mark that He has placed on our lives. And that mark, as, as, we, have, as, as we have read now in, in Romans, it's a mark of the circumcision yes. in the heart. Amen. It's not a circumcision in the flesh. Uh -huh. It's not a circumcision of the Jews. Uh -huh. That was also a seal, that was also a sign that God gave Abraham yes. to, to, to identify the Jews. But we have the seal of the Holy Spirit that identifies us and nobody else can see it. The people in the world can't see that seal. Only God can see, see that seal because He is the one that gave us. But you know that, that uh, um, Christians, that when they come together, the Word of God teaches us when we are in the light, mm. And uh, as God is in the light, we have fellowship with one another. So even Christians will know that we are sealed. We have that confidence. My Avril, my wife is sealed. I am sealed. Our daughter and our son is sealed. Yes. Our brothers and sisters in Christ is sealed. Our, our families. Because our families are sealed. Because you know when, when we come together, we have that, we have that uh, 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 oneness in Christ. We have that uh, unity in Christ yeah. because it's, it's a seal of Christ. It's only one seal, but even as as we see in the in the book of Acts, when the Holy Spirit came, it was one Holy Spirit, but it separated like tongues on all the disciples and apostles that were there. But it's it's to bring unity, to bring yes. oneness. Yeah. And so when Christ when Christ come, He's coming to fit those who are sealed in Him. And we will be taken up that that are still alive, as I said before. And those who died with a seal, they are already alive in Christ in heaven. It is just the bodies that will be taken up and to be given glorious bodies. Because this body of ours cannot inherit the kingdom of God. Amen. Amen. And here in uh, 2 Corinthians uh, 22, uh, I'll read from 21. Now he who establishes us with you in Christ and has anointed us is God, who has also sealed us and given us Amen. the Holy Spirit in our hearts as a guarantee. So we have a guarantee yes. in our life. Amen. We have a security in our life. We secured Jesus. in Jesus because yes. I am a guarantee. Uh, can you just explain something about guarantee, you know, a guarantee knowing that we're going to go to heaven? And yes, it's just like, yeah. it's like, a, 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 like when you buy a, a say, you, say you buy a stove in, in a, a, a year now, uh, and, there's a, and 
then they, it will tell you you've got a two-year guarantee or five-year guarantee, which means if something goes wrong during that time, you can take the stove back to those who you bought it from and they will either repair it or replace it. Now this guarantee yes, that Christ the seal yes. is is something that when uh, the guarantee the, the guarantee here is the promise and the assurance that when that time of distress is coming that God will come and fetch us. He guarantees it because he's put his the Holy Spirit as a seal as I said before. Mm on us and so to protect us is coming to fetch us that which is guaranteed yes. unto him mm -hmm. so we belong to him this uh, he, this his guarantee doesn't <laughs> expire <laughs> you see right. uh, 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 the thing on earth is a uh, is two years or five years but because we have the eternal holy spirit sealed with the eternal holy spirit we, ca we can't expire. So that guarantee, <laughs> God's guarantee, it's don't forever. expire. It's eternal, it's forever. Yes. So when that time comes, He will come and face us and we will live with Him forever Amen. and ever Amen. in eternity. And that is what the guarantee means. And that is our confidence. Mm. That is our hope. That is our trust that God will keep His word. If a man can keep His word to say He will replace a stove that is manufactured on earth, if we trust a man to keep his promise to fix it or to or to or to replace it, how much more God who gives us a guarantee with his Holy Spirit. Amen. Surely he will keep his word more than the earthly man will keep his yes. word. Because the word of God teaches us there's no shadow of turning in him. He will keep his word. He's the same yesterday, today, today and forever. And, and that is our confidence, that's our anchor in life that God will keep his word, he will redeem us, mm. as the word teaches us. And it is very well explained concerning the guarantee of the Holy Spirit. Mm. And with that we, we want to tell you to surrender your all to Amen. Jesus. Amen. Worth it, yes. Yeah, it's worth it. Today. And Thank with you, this Jesus. we want to greet you and say, we're going to come back with more news, great news from the Bible. The word of God is our roadmap to heaven. Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> Thank God you, bless Jesus. you and we will come back with more great news about the Holy Spirit. God is holy and He's a spirit and He's number one of our life. Amen. Amen. And make Him also the number one of, the, of your life. Surrender your all to Him. Amen. Until next time, God bless you.